Welcome back to my show, and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to keep your nutrients topped off. Now in my previous videos, I told you why it's important to keep your nutrients topped off, and why it affects your pH. So take a quick look at that if you haven't already. So for today's video, all we need is one of these things. This is called a floating uh, valve. You can find this on Amazon. This is uh, the CZ Mini floating valve, adjustable arm. So this arm is quite adjustable. All the parts of this is plastic. So none of the metal. So it doesn't have any parts that will rust in your nutrient system. Now the way how this um, floating valve works is that you have this uh, uh, flotation device here. It floats in the water and keeps the apparatus buoyant in water. And you can hang it ver either vertically or horizontally. And basically, if you have it horizontally, you, you lock it in a certain um, position here. Let's say you're locked in there. And let's say your water is this buoyant. And let's say your water is evaporating over time and it drops, 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 drops. At this point, water will flow back into the nutrient system and the, and the flowing valve will rise back upward until it reaches that point where the water will cut off. Now this folding valve is completely composed of all plastic parts. There's no metal parts of it. It's a good thing because you don't want your metals to corrode in, and rust in your water. Now it includes this uh, quarter inch dreaded nozzle adapter. It also includes this quick connect adapter for a quarter inch dreaded nozzle. So if you're installing a flowing valve outdoors, you definitely need a PSI regulator. Basically what this does is just drop down your garden hole pressure down to 25 PSI. So this is designed for irrigation systems and we're going to use this for our floating valve. If you use your just your garden hose pressure directly into your floating valve, you're going to have your tubes burst on you immediately. It's not fun to see, so I highly recommend you pick this up. You can find this on Amazon which I'll leave a link below if I can find one for you. So I have my aeroponics partially disassembled and I already pre-drilled my hole. This is, I'm using a 3 4 drill bit to make the hole and it goes, and I put it where I want it so the water's gonna be coming in vertically down into the, to the flowing valve and I also have my adjustable clamp here which I attach to the, uh, to the hose so let's go ahead and install this. So I have my fluid valve finally installed in the position where I want it in my nutrient system. And it's going to point it in this direction. So all is loud enough is now to attach the hose. Now, Ordinarily, I would use this washer on top, but since the thickness of the PVC board is way too thick, I only could use attach this directly. But I'm not really concerned about using this piece because my uh, floating valve is pointed vertically. So I have my floating valve installed. Last thing you want to do before you close up your aeroponics is make sure you have your air your floating valve installed correctly in the right direction. See my. The way I have it is if it drops below here, it'll swing up and release water. And when it, when, when it goes back up, it should shut off the valve. So let's close up everything. So ordinarily, I would use this washer to put it on top. But since I have on since I have my flowing valve on top, I'm not really that concerned with the, it leaking. And there's not enough room to install this washer and this hose adapter. So I'm going to use this hose adapter just directly. my wrench, tighten it a little bit. Now I have this uh, adjustable clamp. I'm going to thread it through. Push it in. Just tighten it up. 
last thing we need to do is set the adjustable arm. It's basically easy. It's basically base set where you want your water level filled up. So this step is perfect for me. So I'm going to just tighten it up just as so as it's sitting in the water. I'll have to admit that the half inch hose adapter that was included when I started using it, it started to leak on me. Then I realized that the, the amount of teeth on it was insufficient. So I highly recommend that you go to Home Depot or Lowe's and pick up one of these metal ones. They, first, they last longer and second, they have a lot more teeth. The more teeth you have, the more overlap you'll have to the male end. So I highly recommend get one of these. Here you see the metal hose adapter attached to the floating valve. You see here there's no leak. I also use this uh, PT, PTFE threaded sealant tape to give more seal to the hose adapter. You can see here no, there's no leak. It's, the water system is turned on. And just to test the floating valve, I'm going to put my hand inside and just trigger the floating valve. You can hear the water turning on. Looks like everything's working just fine here, so let's just call it a day. So the applications for these floating valves are endless. You can use it to feed water to your livestock, your pets, to refilling water for your fresh water and salt water aquariums. The applications are just endless to your imagination. So if you found the video informative and interesting, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe buttons. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, put in the section below. I'd love to hear back to what you guys are going to use your floating valves for. Until next time, peace out and happy gardening.